Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim and uh, today I wanted to just share with you a project I finished. Um, a couple weeks ago I did a live with Amy where we altered um, some canvases, shabby blingy canvases is the name of the live and um, I finished one on the live um, but this is one that I did separately and I wanted to share it with you because I really like how it came out and um, I just want to share it <laughs> basically. So it's a round canvas which is um, seven and a half we'll say seven and three quarters um, around and um, you can hear that it's hard and all I did to cover the back was I cut this from a very large tablecloth and covered it and then I put a couple of pretty doilies and uh, just some sorry seam binding and that finished the back off nicely so let me share with you the front and this is Marie Antoinette theme this one so around the edge hopefully you can see it um, it has this really pretty trim and it was a bigger trim it had this on the bottom and then it had this large um, cotton piece on top of it so I just cut the edge off it and I still have the cotton piece to use um, because it I didn't want to cover up the pretty cotton piece so I just cut it um, and that's a great way to get extra mileage out of your laces anyway but uh, I love this netting that goes around the edge it's so pretty and basically the colors on here are like um, creams and whites and ivories and a touch of gold which I love um, so I use this image of Marie from my stash and she is all stickled up so I don't know if the camera will pick it up but I did stickle her hair and her gorgeous necklace she's wearing and then at the top here I've got a big bridal applique that this was, I, I won this from um, My Cottage Craft, Jeanette. Hi Jeanette, uh, quite a while ago. And um, uh, so I finally am using it now because I've been hoarding it. <laughs> but I cut that up and put that on top. And then I just cut snippets of lace, these little flowers here and here. Um, this was a very large Venice lace. Um, that I believe Olivia Hernandez sent me a while ago and uh, I, again I've been hoarding it and uh, since I've been organizing my craft room I've decided I'm not hoarding anything anymore except for like my very very old pieces um, but everything else is fair game now it's time to use it so um, and this beautiful piece of bling here and then I just added some of the little clay flowers and doodad flowers um, this was a flower that somebody made me and honestly I'm so sorry I can't remember who but I know somebody made me that and then I used some of this um, tea dyed sari over here but it looks gold I did give it a little bit of a spray as well it's really pretty um, and then I used this little golden crown here um, which is from my store Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy and the link to that is in the description box for you guys um, and then more little flowers and then at the bottom here I've used this beautiful gorgeous piece that um, Jane Marge made and I hope that the camera will pick it up it's absolutely stunning Jane Marge made this beautiful um, cameo and it's on metal it has little doodad flowers and then it has this beautiful beaded piece at the bottom here so that just dangles down and then probably it's better this way I've added some dangle lace from my shop um, this um, gold fringe I believe Amy um, I got from Amy hi Amy and then this piece here I think Olivia sent me uh, as well and then this is a beautiful um, embroidered net lace it's really really long so I put that on first and then this one and then the gold just to pick up on the gold accents of the flower and the crown and then this bling piece here and there's a lot of gold in the 
um, in the stickles as well. I use diamond stickles on it. So and you'll have to excuse if you hear it. It's pouring rain outside right now. <laughs> but um, so I was really pleased with how this came out. And again, this was um, along the same lines as what Amy and I did on the live. So you can see it's quite big, but I just, I like it. And I love using these round canvases because they're really, really light, but they're heavy enough to hold your project flat. Sometimes, you know, if you use doilies, they, they go in a bit sometimes. Um, but this is great. I love using these round canvases and I got this at the dollar store here in Canada, Dollarama, but so definitely check your dollar store for canvases um, and give um, that a try using a shab doing a shabby chic project on them instead of just mixed media, which I'd love to do as well. But uh, so that is my project, guys. I hope that you like it. I, I love it. I love Marie and uh, hopefully you can see all of that. It's hard to get it all on camera because it's really, really long. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. So I hope you guys like my project share today and I will be back with another video later. I hope you're all doing well and be safe. Bye guys.